Hey guys, welcome to my channel for another video. In today's look, I am um, featuring my Jackie Ina and Anastasia Beverly Hills palette um, collaboration. And this palette is super bomb. Um, if you know Jackie Ina, then you already knew she was going to come with the fire, with the heat. Um, this look is super easy to get. If you're interested in watching and you have this palette, then stay tuned. Okay, so the first shade I'm going to use starting with the palette and the brush that came with it is um, Edges. Use Edges first as my transition shade. So I'm just going to take it and dip it and then blend it into the crease. So I'm just going straight in with that brush and just applying it on the eyelid. You can see this shade has a lot of color payoff, so you don't have to do a terrible lot. Take it and blend it in this crease, and we will move on to the next shade. Okay, so for the next shade, I want a little bit more precision, so I'm gonna take a smaller, fluffier brush, and of course, I'm gonna use my Morphe M506. And I'm gonna go into Pinker and blend that into the crease. So I'm gonna take it and pack it like I always do. And this palette kind of has a lot of um, kickback just because of the pigmentation, but I don't mind because it's still bomb. And then without adding more product, um, I just take that brush and blend out the edges. I blend so smoothly. It's ridiculous. So I'm just gonna go back and forth, add more pigment, blend the edge, and then also take my transition shade, which is edges, and then blend that into pinker to make sure I have a nice little gradient. tip for blending shadow the closer you hold your brush to the barrel or towards the tip of the brush the more control you'll have of it and you're gonna get more pigment so if you want a more blown out or diffuse look you want to hold your brush a little further away from the barrel and then blend either in circular motions or windshield wiper motions move on to the lid shade and I'm going to take Shookington which is this nice pretty purple it's like a pressed pigment it's really nice looking and I'm gonna take this um eyeshadow brush this is like a no no name brand brush that I got from maybe TJ Maxx or something it's a synthetic haired brush um, so it's gonna pick up a lot of the pigment and then I'm just going to put that right on my lid Taking this and patting this into the eye. This color is so pretty. It's around there like sunset type eyes. So now that I've kind of lost a little bit of pinker, I'm going to go back in with my um, same M506 brush. And I'm just going to go back in and deepen that up so I can blend my lid shade and my crease shade together. And the smaller the brush, the more precision. So if you don't have an M506, I really don't know a good dupe, but um, just go buy the M506 brush. 
they really are nice though for people that want to do makeup and it just helps um for placement and for blending purposes because it is a nice little round fluffy brush so these things i'm telling you you gotta go buy you some but you also need to buy this palette if you have not because it is so so bomb Just going back over Shookington. And that's it for the eyes. Let's move right along. All right, so I'm gonna apply my liner. Same as usual, my NYC um, liquid eyeliner. Okay, we starting to look like something. So I went and did my foundation also because we're gonna move on to the last part of the eye. I'm going to go back in with pinker first and I'm gonna put that underneath my lash line. And then I'm going to smoke it out a little bit more with edges. So I'm gonna take my same brush, my M506, if I can find it. I'm going pinker. Alright, and then we're gonna go back in edges on the same brush. You gotta kinda be careful with this part because it's gonna get real messy. But you're gonna go right underneath finger and smoke out the lash line. So for my inner corner highlight, I'm gonna take Soleil, which is this really nice rose gold, like peachy color. And I'm using a um this is a crease brush by e.l.f., but use any sort of like pointer brush and just take that and put that right in the inner corner. I'm gonna drag it up also just a little bit. Like so. Y'all, I'm barely I'm really like barely tapping this on and I'm just getting so much pigment. So if you need confirmation on whether or not you should get this, yes girl, you should get it. Okay, for lips, I'm gonna use my Nika K Auto Lip Liner in brown, it's A13 brown. And then I'm going to go over that with some Wet n Wild Liquid Catsuit Lipstick in Nudie Patootie. Once that's dried down, because it's a little too like um, cool tone for me. Not for my liking, I'm gonna use this um, lip gloss. I think this is by Revlon. This is the Super Lustrous Lip Gloss. This is the color Sandstorm. It's like a peachy nude. It's got some silver reflex in it. I'm just gonna put that on here to sheer this out just a little. All right, to finish off your look, just go ahead and top it off with some sort of setting spray of your choice, whatever you have. I have some MAC Prep and Prime here. I'm just gonna miss that. And then go add some hair. 